Well, good morning. Jim Sunderworth back with you today. Great day. Great day to honor the Lord and talk about things that really will help us to understand the importance of our life, that, that God will help us, that we can be free and enjoy life. And, and there's one thing, um, you know, when he, when he told the Israelites in, in that uh, chapter 20, we're still on it uh, in these few days, where it says, he said, be not, be not afraid. Uh, and then he said, but let the fear of God be in your life because it will keep you from sinning. Now, that's what we're talking about. Uh, because the fear of the Lord, there's so many things. Proverbs um, 16, Proverbs 16, 6 says these words. In mercy and truth, atonement is provided for iniquity, and by the fear of the Lord, one departs from evil. Mm -hmm. And then it also said that the, uh, in, in Proverbs 14, 26, it says, and I'm reading it right from the word, it says, in the fear of the Lord, there is strong confidence. You know, <laughs> people want confidence, and they go to the store, and they go go through all these self help books, <laughs> and they and they listen to people on on television, and they take off every word. How am I going to have some confidence in life? Mm -hmm. And they said, then they read the books on here's the ten points to, to build confidence in your life. Well, all the the Bible says, just honor God, fear the Lord, and uh, this is the beginning of wisdom. And then it says this in the fear of the Lord. There is strong confidence. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. You you honor him and you fear him and he's behind you and you can have all the confidence in the world. You're not alone. When you know that you honor and respect and fear him and say, no, Lord, I, I don't want to do anything that would displease you because I know my best interest. I, I just want, I fear missing your blessing. And then also in Psalms 34, it's it's an uh, it's an amazing thing, but before 34 it says in in Psalms 89 verse 11 it says, "Teach me your way, O Lord, and I will walk in your truth. Unite my heart to fear your name." In other words, he's Jehovah Jireh. I don't want to miss his blessing. Him providing, I, I you know I, I honor that name. I I fear being without that name. He's Jehovah Jireh. He's Jehovah Shammah, the God that's with us. All the name, I want to honor the Lord, and I want to fear the fact that I wouldn't come under the blessing and under the favor of that name. And then it says, in that name, it's very, very important that we have a long life. Deuteronomy 6, it says these words. He says in, in, uh, in, in Deuteronomy 6, that you may fear the Lord your God and keep his statutes. You fear the Lord, keep his statutes and commandments, which I command you, and uh, your son and your grandson all the days of your life that your days may be prolonged mm -hmm. these things you the fear of the lord um i tell you what my my life has been prolonged because of the respect and the fear of uh, disappointing my parents because of that fear of disappointing them and fear of not not being a blessing to them uh, my life was saved uh, and I don't have time to check about it but because I feared uh, uh, disappointing them and because I because I respected them highly it saved my life and I'm here today my life has been prolonged because of the fear and respect of my parents and my life has been prolonged because of the fear and respect of God it's because it's kept me out of a lot of sin it's kept me out of a lot of stuff that would have destroyed my life and then also I love Psalms where it says in Psalms 34 it says in Psalms 34 7 the fear of the Lord the angel of the Lord encamps around those that fear him those that honor and fear and don't want to uh, disappoint God want to make sure that you're right in relationship with him he sets angels around you I mean there's protection in the fear of the Lord I'm so thankful. Now, you say, well, which is it? Be not afraid or fear the Lord. Well, it's both. Mm -hmm. It's both. There's good fears and there's bad fears. I'm telling you, both. If I tell my kids, you know, said, um, watch that socket. Don't put, your, I want you to be afraid of that socket. Why? Because that socket can bite them. So that's a good fear. I watch the top of that stove. It's hot. Watch that. You got, watch that. That dog will bite you. He's showing his teeth. Show that there's, develop within them that fact. God wants that developed in us, that he knows best, and we want to fear the fact that, that if we miss his instruction, we could get in bad trouble. And he says, and then I love this in, in Psalms also, it says, Psalms 34, it says, fear the Lord, fear the Lord, you his saints, for there is no want to those that fear him. <laughs> 
I mean, you honor him, you respect him, you come under his authority, and you say, Lord, I don't want to miss anything. And he says to you, he says, there, I guarantee you, if you fear me and honor me and you come under underneath my authority, he said, there will be no want. I will supply all of your needs according to all the riches and glory by Christ Jesus. We've got that in the New Testament. He said, we honor Christ, we honor the Lord, we respect Him, we fear the fact that, well, I don't want to miss His blessing, and He says, I'll take care of you. <laughs> That's good, isn't it? That's good. See you tomorrow, okay? We'll continue all this. That's so good, babe.